Hello there everyone, my name is Tech, and this is going to be the first build tutorial from me in the year 2021. I know we're already halfway through the year, but I haven't really made any tutorials on a build. So, we're going to do that. Um, I'm really excited, this is going to be a small medieval uh, starter house design for you guys. Um, I know it's been a while since I've posted anything of this kind of sort, but I just wanted to start. Now, by looking around, you can see it's not that big, but it's small enough for you to add even more details than it already has. It has plenty of windows, and the roof is tall enough for you to add stuff in the attic, such as extra storage or anything else you like. I think it's the perfect size for a starter home. And even though it is pretty small, you could do a lot with this, and since it is a starter home. But there's many details you can add, like the roof, you could texture up, um, the top part's really nice, you could add a chimney of any size, and we really like to detail it up with that dripstone and granite. So we're going to get into this even more throughout the tutorial, but I think that you guys are going to love this, and we're going to get straight into the tutorial. Alright, so this is going to be a quick part of the tutorial. Um, so I want to address uh, textures. So throughout the tutorial, um, I'm not going to be texturing the build as I go to keep things simple. But I want to show you guys the textures that I will be using. So um, since this is a tutorial, I wanted to save time and do stuff simple. So we're going to start off with the roof texture. You know, you got that um, starting. It's all based around the dark oak. And it starts with black terracotta spruce wood so it has the wood texture on all sides dark oak planks and brown terracotta and we're gonna go to the walls which is cobblestone stone bricks and stone and a site and it goes from like dark to like light that's how i like to do my gradients and um i think it's really nice and then for the last one the chimney brick dripstone polished granite and granite now, the reason why I won't be texturing the builds in the tutorial is because I wanted to save time. Uh, and I wanted, like, to see your guys' creativity. Because I didn't want to make, like, a block for block for block, if you could say. Like, I wanted to make a block for block tutorial, but I didn't want to, like, absolutely over-detail and have you guys, like, well, I don't want to do this. So, here are the grains I'm going to be using if you do want to detail it. So, let's get back to the tutorial, shall we? So, let's start off by getting the materials. These are going to be all the blocks that you're going to need to build this build. So you could pause the video to get them all, or you could take a screenshot, or you could even come back to this later. But these are going to be the items you need. So to start off, we're going to have a plot that I already marked out with some rooted dirt and some coarse dirt. And now this plot is 7 by 5, and that's because I think this is going to be the perfect size for a starter home. It's not too big, it's not too small, and plus I really like plotting out builds like this with um, the root dirt and coarse dirt. But we're going to start off placing barrels on each corner. Now the reason why I like using barrels is because it looks like a like iron wrapped foundation. And we're going to add three oak wood on top of them right now. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Now, the reason why we do this is so it acts as like pillars and supporting. And now we're done with that. So, we're going to move on to putting stone in between. So, we're going to move every other block. One, two, three. Now, the reason we're going to do this is because we're going to add a door here and a window here. So, we're going to do the same thing. One, two, three. We just build up three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And we're going to connect all the tops. And that's it for the front side. Now the next side, there's also gonna be a middle in the window, so you're gonna skip those. One, two, and you're just gonna build up three and connect the top like the other one. And we're gonna also build up two here, and we're gonna place two at the very top. So this is going to be there for the roof. Now coming back, we could place it all along, but at the second layer, we're gonna have to skip every other one again. So one, two, three, and then do the same thing. One, two, three, and then just connect the top. Now this side, I made it easy, so you could add details if you want to, but we're just going to fill in the same exact thing as the other wall, 
but with no window spaces. So now the next thing we're going to do is placing these stairs for the windows. So we're going to place an upside down stair here, an upside down stair there, and an upside down stair there. The reason I like doing that is because it adds a little detail arch, and we're going to do the same thing here and here, upside down stairs. And this side you only need to place them on the top. One, two, whoo, looks so cute, huh? I really like the way those came out. Now we're going to place glass in each little window cubby. So, three, four, so you should have four down there in total, and I totally forgot to add this. But there's going to be a roof part over the window, so we're going to add one, two, skip that block, and we're going to break that out, and we're going to place a glass pane there. And that's that for the stone part and the glass. And we're going to actually have to add a door here, so let's just do that real quick. We can place it in upside down, because I like how it gives like this little arch kind of feel to it. So... This is what it looks like so far. I'm so happy. It looks so great. So we're going to place uh, the roof now. So we're going to place a block here, here, and here. And the reason why I do this is because you want a little out part. And we're going to actually change this to facing that way so that we can fix the roof. So we're going to place upside down stair and then stair on top. So upside, do that again. Upside down stair, stair on top, and then slab. And that's so we could get like this nice arch going up. So upside down stair, stair, arch. And we're gonna place a stair facing this way so it connects up with the roof. Now for this side we're gonna start with an upside down stair. And then a stair on top, upside down stair, stair on top. We're gonna place a stair right there. Now for this wall, it's going to be a little bit easier, but it's basically the same repeating process. Upside down stair, block, stair. Upside down stair, block, stair, slab, block. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Uh, we're going to place two blocks here though. Two stairs, upside down stair, block, stair, upside down stair, block, stair. And that's that for that side. So it has like this nice going up kind of feel, which is a little bit taller. And we're going to connect all nine of these. So there should be nine total from end to end, and we're gonna do upside down stair, block again, stair, upside down stair, block, stair, slab block. Do the same thing on the other side, upside down stair, block, stair, upside down stair, block, stair. And that's the basic, that's the basic roof style, but I don't want to finish there, so we're going to place upside down stair here, so it faces outwards. And the same thing on the other side, place upside down stair here. Now we're going to connect the roofs by putting a slab here on that block, and the slab on top of that block, and then block, slab, block, slab, connect to the other side. So block, slab, block, slab, block, slab, block. And that's so that there's like this nice connecting texture throughout the top. And I kind of like it because it's kind of spiky. You can even add like walls or pillars or anything on top of there to even make it look more stood out if you want it to. And we're gonna actually going to start filling it in. And while filling in, we're going to use some dark oak stairs and dark oak. So let's do that. So we're going to start off with three dark oak planks and then four stairs. But we're actually going to place this stair facing that way first two three still so just it connects and on the other side a plank a stair and a stair so it connects up and then we're going to connect seven from this side to the other side so one two three four five six seven we're going to connect that stair right there um plank sorry and then seven stairs across one two three four five six seven and then fill in the very top with the plank seven across and that's the basic size of the roof. Uh, and then we're going to come to back. And this this is simple. It's just seven planks, seven stairs. Oops, forgot one. Seven planks. Seven stairs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you may be wondering, well, I don't have that many blocks. Well, that's because I made a mistake. Right here, there's going to be a chimney. So we're going to punch out these four blocks. Two, three, four. And we're going to replace them with brick. So we'll build that up four, and then we're going to place two anvils on top. Now that's our chimney, and we're basically 
in fact you know what we are done this this is the build guys that is how simple it is to build um but we're gonna actually do some details so we're gonna add a fence gate here open it so it's facing the window confirm top and we're going to put it out and that's because it has like this nice little arch kind of like a sill window sill kind of deal going on i just really like how it looks and it's really detailed and it's such a simple thing we're gonna skip the side because i have something planned for it later on this side we're gonna do the same thing fence gate fence gate open open campfire campfire and then we're just gonna put them out there you go uh, and then we can add details to the side later but that's not the matter Right now, we're going to add a fence right under that upside down stair, the second one. And we're going to put a um, lantern right under it, just so there's like a light for your front door. Uh, now, this side, I didn't like how bare bones it looked. So, we're going to add a little arch, starting with the upside down spruce stair there. Another one there, and we're going to connect it with two slabs. One connecting with the stairs, and one on top of it. So that there's a little slab to break up the texture. And guys, you will not believe this is it. This is the build all complete and done. Um, if you wanted to add more texture, you could do it. Remember the wall of textures before, the gradients you could use. But this is basically it. And I really, really love the way it came out. So watch the cinematic right now. I had so much fun building this for you guys, and I hope you guys have just as much fun building it for yourself. The texture pack and the shaders will be linked in the description, so will all of my socials, so you can go follow me on there. And I hope you have so much fun. The interior video will be coming out very soon. I hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye.